Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius, and this video is for the girls. <laughs> so, anyways, um, today we are having a uh, long overdue video, which I told you was coming, and it is coming. It's here. Um, but the issue is, I tried to film this last week, July week. I tried to film this video, and it was very embarrassing. When uh, 35 minutes in, I was like, "Let me just check to make sure this is still recording," and it was not. So, um, I was very upset, but I was like, you know what, it's fine. Um, I'll film it later. And so I had Wendy's that time. This time I have my pizza. I don't know if you guys have my pizza near you. They're a chain and I've had it before. Um, but. Okay. Anyways, um, so today's video is going to be. <laughs> Something that happened to me recently. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Um, and we're gonna talk about it. But first, I'm gonna take a couple bites of this pizza. I think this looks insane right now. And the reason why is because this, I always get something different. Um, I love mod because, <gasps> is this the thin crust or the thick crust? Oh no, it's the thin. Anyways, I love mod because it's literally like $9 and it's a build your own pizza. The, the deal. Now, I'm gonna talk about the main part of this video once I have a couple bites, you know how I am. Oh, you know what also is not fair? I look insane right now. And I did it before when I first filmed this video. Cause I was like, you know what? I just got my hair done. I was giving the girls everything they asked for. I was like, well, why don't I give the girls um, a video? Because they asked for it. And I tried to, and literally, I just, just wasn't in the cards for that day. Hmm. Can I see my nails? They're brown. Now, I actually just got back from San Diego. Mm. You know, it's getting booked, it's getting busy, it's getting phone calls, it's getting meetings. Um. <laughs> I'm literally just joking, none of that happened. But I did go to San Diego um, for a spring break. And it was fun. Um, I wish I'd stay longer though. Mm. Let me say what's on the pizza, I'm sorry. Pepperoni, um, green peppers, mushrooms, jalapenos, and then there was an oh and basil, but there was an option at the end to get like red sauce dollops on the pizza. First of all, I only they have two types of sauce. Let's talk about it. They have two types of sauce. One of them is regular, and the other one is like a spicy, like kind of chunkier one. I'm sorry. Um. They have more than that, but like that, those are the only red sauces they have, like marinara based, whatever. So I usually get the spicy one, and it's. Sorry. And it's really good. But when you do the option to get the dollops on the top, I think they put the regular one on there, and this tastes like I came out of a can. I'm not joking. I don't know what the difference is, but it just is very much so not a good marinara. Sorry. But the spicy one's good. Okay. 
Now, is it spicy? No. It isn't at all. Um, I can almost guarantee my lips are chapped. It's giving, you know, do rag creases in the fore in the forehead. Mm. Which I don't ever know how to get rid of. How you get rid of the do rag creases? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Looks like you had a good sleep. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this happened to me. I'm sorry. This is how this video, I'm literally gonna scream. Um, I just hate, like, having to share stories while I'm eating. Because you know how I am with my story times. Please. Okay. This water's hitting. Now, let's talk about it. Quickly, let me give you the backstory. Because this is kind of a long story, so I'm going to try to, you know, give you the right details. Um, and we'll see. So, basically, a couple months ago, I went through a spurt. Well, I'm in the spurt right now. I'll be like, I need to be more productive, right? Look at me starting from the very beginning. So... I was like, you know what? I need to be more productive. Um, when I get back to school, this was this was after winter break. I was like, when I get back to school, it's go time. You know, it's giving productivity. I have things I want to do this year, whatever. Um, and videos are getting the the videos are going to be added to this productivity soon enough. Like me being more frequent, but whatever. So I'm like, I want to be more frequent. I mean, more. Um, productive with my life whatever so i'm i'm in my bed and i look over to my nightstand and there is um my phone now if you don't know about me i have like an infatuation with cell phones i have to have the latest and greatest at all times um i've been slacking a little bit i didn't get the new iphone because no ma'am no ham no turkey because it was giving like very much of the same. I was like, I don't want to spend the money if I don't need to. Like, there's there's no point. And usually that's how it is with all my purchases. No, there's no reason why I need to get a phone every single year. But either way, I have I usually have the best Samsung phone and the best iPhone, whatever. So I had the Samsung Galaxy S22 21 Ultra that just came out at the beginning of last year, right? So I had that one. I only had it for what six, seven months until August. Is August, what month is August, eight? It's eight. Anyways, so it was eight months I had it, and then I, um, the new Samsung phone came out with a Fold, which girl, it's right here. Folds open and close, it's very iconic and legendary, whatever, right? So I got this phone instead, and I was, my plan was to sell the other phone that I had, the other Samsung phone on eBay. But it had been months and months and months and I hadn't done it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just um, uh, do it now because I had wait, waited so long. I was like, I'll do it now. So I go on eBay. Now, first of all, let me, let me tell you something. I've never been on eBay before my entire life. I've never been on eBay. So I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I know the, the vague things that I know about it at this point are that you go on there and you like do bids. Like you sell something. But it was very confusing when I tried to like post a listing because I've never even shopped on there before. So I was like, I don't know what I'm doing at all. So... So, I up, I took pictures of it on my phone, and I upload it to the thing or whatever to, to to do a listing. And the way it works is this is what I I don't know I think this is how it works. The way it works is that you set a price for if someone wants to buy it right out, they can pay, to pay that price. Or if someone wants to do bidding, like you can do like the lowest bid I think that you'll accept or something like that. I don't know. So. I had my buy it out at like nine hundred and ten dollars or whatever because this phone is expensive, and um, then I and it was virtually like not used. Like, and when I say eight months, it was really like six months because the phone didn't come out until like February or something or March. I don't remember when it came out, but whatever. So, and then my my lowest bid price was like seven hundred, I think. I don't know, whatever. So I'm like testing the water. So I need to change the prices later. I'll do that. So I put the phone up there, 
And the same day, like not even, it was, it had been up for like three hours. I get an inquiry on, from the app. It was like somebody messaging me and he said, Hey, uh, I'm interested in buying the phone. And I'm like, wow, that was quick. I'm going to be using eBay all the time. He's like, I'm interested in buying the phone. Um, but can you turn on like, he wanted me to go somewhere in my settings and like turn on something on the bid. Like, this is so hard to explain because to this day, I still don't know what I was doing. But he was like, can you go and turn on like where I can like give you an offer? I guess he said that I had offers turned off. And so I was like, that's weird. I, I thought, I swear I had that on. So I was like, okay. I, when I tell you, I don't know what I'm doing at all. I'm, I'm in the settings, like looking at things, trying to look up videos, how to do it. I'm like, this man wants to buy my the phone. Um, but I don't know how to turn the offer for on for him. Because he was like, how does $830 sound? He asked me for, he wanted to pay that much. And I was like, that's amazing. Like, whatever, right? And it was the first night. I'm like, this is perfect. So I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm like, hey, I don't know how to turn this on. Give me a minute. And he gives me like a step-by-step -step process of how to do it. He's like, yeah, I sell things all the time on eBay. All you got to do. And he gives me a little, it was like almost like, now. Throughout this story, I'm going to be saying things and it might seem like, oh, brr, duh, you're stupid. You should have known. But I promise you in the moment I didn't know. So whatever. Um, I'm like, okay, perfect, whatever. So he sends me this like step-by-step -step list about how to do it. And I'm like, did he just type that up? Like whatever. And it was just like a five-step thing. Like go here, go to the setting, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, like he knows what he's doing. Like I guess he sells all the time. Whatever. And... um. Mind you, no profile picture. Again, these are all things of me knowing now. Whatever. No profile picture. But honestly, I didn't have one either. I had just, this is my first time on eBay. I don't have a profile picture either. And I think my name was random as well. And so was his name. And this is another thing. He goes, I want to give you $830, but can you turn on offers? I was like, okay, fine. So he gives me the step-by-step -step process. I ended up figuring it out. Um, and so he offers that price. He tells me in text, and not text, but over this like eBay messaging thing, he's like, hey, I'm trying to get this for my nephew. Can you, uh, his birthday's coming up really, really soon. Can you, um, like once you get the money, can you ship it immediately? Like I want to like overnight, cause he lived in New York. So he was like, I need it, I need it to be overnight. Cause like my, his birthday's coming up soon. Like, um, and I wanted to get this for him, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, okay, like that's totally fine. Like, I'll ship it overnight. Like, I get it, you know, whatever. You want it as a gift. So, um, what happens? So, he he bids it. Let me make sure this is still recording because I'd be so upset. Wait, this you're going to see my dashboard for a second. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, it is. Anyways, so, he gives me the money. Or, no, let me, let me rephrase back that. He, like, puts a bid in. And so, I accept the bid. And it says on eBay, and I partially blame eBay for this. It says on eBay, I have $830 in my account. And so I'm like, oh, well, you know, he paid for it. He, uh, you know, he asked me to turn on the bid thing. Like everything's going smoothly, whatever. And so I get an email and it says, so-and-so-and-so has bought your phone or your purchase or your item or whatever for $830. Um, once you upload the like shipping information, like the, once you upload like, oh, you sent it out and you're not actually like being a scam artist or whatever, then you, uh, and like you send in the, the tracking number into the eBay system or whatever, then we'll release the funds into your account. And I was like, okay. I said, okay. Um, <laughs> cause I was like, okay, well maybe like they had had issues in the past with people scamming or like they'll like put up an item on there and, but then won't, they won't actually ship the item and they just take the money. So I was like, that makes sense. So, but in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, how are they going to give me the money? Cause I'm thinking, I'm, I'm like, I haven't put my card information in there. I haven't put a PayPal. I haven't done anything. So how does, how's eBay going to give me money when I haven't even uploaded any payment information yet? So now I'm a little skeptical. I'm like, it says I have $830, but is that like, uh, like, is that actually in my account now and I can just withdraw? I don't know. So I'm like, at this point, let me call eBay. This is, I 
embarrassing. So I'm at school. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm at school and I get out of class. I'm like, you know what? When I get out of class, I'm going to call eBay. So girl, listen up. I go on Google and I'm like, okay, um, you know, eBay customer service. So a number pops up. I call this, you know, person. It was a lady. Um, and um, she's like, oh, you know, tell me about what's going on. Like what your account, blah, 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 blah. And so I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, I have this phone I've been selling. It was for 800. She keeps, she kept on asking me, keeps on asking me, how much are you trying to sell it for? And I'm like, $830. She asked me like three times. I'm like, it's $830. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, blah, 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 blah. She's like, oh, okay. Um, what's the listing for? I'm like, it's a phone. She's like, oh, okay. Um, whatever, whatever. So then she's like, I want to look at your account. And she was like, I'm sorry, I'm literally like going so slow. So she was like, I want to look at your account. And I was like, okay, perfect. And so she's like, okay, can you do one thing for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. She's like, put your put your phone on speakerphone. I'm like, okay. So I put it on speakerphone. She's like, now go to the app store and download this app. I said, girl, does it look like I was born yesterday? I'm like, uh, I don't really feel comfortable downloading an app. But like, what do you need an app for? Boop, boop, boop. Hangs up the phone. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> this is actually crazy. I'm like, what is going on? I, I literally just called to be like, just to figure out how this works, the process works. This one was asking me what I'm paying for. I mean, like what, like how much money's in my account, blah, 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 blah. With the phone, I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then she asked me to download an app. I'm like, I've seen too many scam videos where they're doing that so they can like see your phone. I don't know. But I was like, I'm not, I don't, all I said was like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. This one hangs up on me. I'm like, okay. So I go back on where I found this number at. This number is a full, a full fledged scam operation. So I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not joking. I got scammed three times. I'm. This is not. That was the first scam. So this is why it's confusing. So I called them trying to figure that out. It was a scam. She. They. 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 I don't think eBay has a customer service number at all. You cannot talk to anybody at eBay. So I'm calling this number and it, they, they knew that people were going to actually have to call customer service. So I'm calling this number. It's a scam. So I'm like, what? That's insane. So I go back to talking to this guy who wants to buy my phone. I'm like, you know, whatever. He's like, yeah, just send in the, um, the tracking number in the thing. And, um, I wish I could actually show you. He's like, send in the tracking number. And once you send that product, it'll uh, the money will go in your account. And I'm like, oh, okay. Then I look back at the email that I got immediately after he bought the phone. It was a phishing scam. I scroll down to the bottom. It's like, you might think this is a scam, but I assure you it is not. And it's like, <laughs> I'm like, what? After I see all this, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I, I get scammed by the guy who's actually trying to buy my phone. He's not, not even real. And then, because he sent it, he's the one sending me these emails. The eBay that I was getting wasn't really their eBay logo. It was an orange thing. Like, at this point, like, now all the things are, con I'm connecting all the dots. I'm like, okay, like, maybe this is a scam. And I wish I could literally show you an eBay. I mean, eBay, in the email that they sent me. I, I'm going to try to find it. Um, because I was going, what was that? And that's very embarrassing. Um, can I even type in eBay? What's going on? Uh, I'm sorry to have you guys waiting. Um, February. See. So, yeah. So, the, the thing that I did was I compared it to my sign up. Like, when I signed up for eBay, because I told you I didn't have an account. I compared that email to the emails that I was getting for, like, the purchase. And I'm like, why does this look completely different? Like, the emails that I was getting for the purchase was, like, the eBay just looked like... Let me open this up for you. Um, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this at all. Should I turn the brightness up? I'm, I can't even see the screen. But basically, it was like, oh, you know, be sure you do it overnight. I added $100 extra for the delivery. Here's the ad address. 
Um, and the eBay picture is like a orange E. And at the time, I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. It's like, we don't check this mailbox, so please don't reply. I feel like I'm, I'm assuming they copied and pasted this from the actual thing. Either way, I'm really like skeptical about this because I have actual emails from eBay and it has the actual eBay like logo on their thing. And so I'm like, okay, this is fully a scam. I message him. I'm like, uh, you know, I, what did I say? I said, I don't think I'm going to um, sell the phone anymore. Blah, 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 blah. So he just stops responding because I'm like, this is definitely a scam. Then two days later, I get another inquiry on eBay saying, hey, um, I would like to buy the phone. It's for my mother's birthday and it's coming up really quickly. Um, and I forgot to get her to get her something. So when you ship it, can you ship it overnight? I'm like, okay, okay. I got shoe duped three times. This is embarrassing. So I'm like, okay, this is something. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go along with it. I'm like, for sure, for sure, for sure. He's like, yeah, I'm so sorry, but like, can you do it overnight? I'm like, um, I guess. Let me see if I can find the messages. I'm not joking. They're my text messages. Did I say overnight? Um. Oh my gosh, I cannot find it. It's so far. It was probably all the way back in February. But I also accidentally gave my my number to a um, a car shipping company thing, and it posted me all over the internet. Um. Oh my goodness. Can I literally find them? Um. So it's this guy. And oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can find it. <gasps> Here it is. So, let me go back to the beginning. So, I sent him all the pictures of the phone. So, he asked me, he said, hello, I'm from eBay. How are you doing? This is the, the second guy who's trying to scam me. Please respond ASAP. So as, so, as for me to know if I texted the right number, thank you. I said, it is the right number. He said, okay. He said, I'm gifting the item to my nephew and I will want it shipped to him. So, this, so he said nephew and said his mom. I don't remember. But this guy said nephew. The other guy said cousin. I will add $122 for shipping to his address. That's exactly what the other guy said too. He said, I'm adding extra money so you can ship it overnight. And I'm thinking $122 is a lot. But, but I was like, I guess I don't know if that's like how much it costs to do overnight to like New York. I don't know. He's like, let me know if you're cool with that. And I'm like, so sorry I didn't get back to you right away. Yes, that sounds perfect. Just pay on eBay and I'll get that shipped out immediately. And he's like, send me pictures of the item. This is another thing. He kept on saying item. I'm like, obviously, you know, it's a phone. Like you literally are buying it. So you know that it's a phone. Why are you saying item? He's like, send me pictures of the item. I'm like, okay. So he's like, I'm ready to proceed with the payment and I will add $122 for the shipping, like I said earlier. Kindly send me a payment request via PayPal. So I'm like, if you buy it on eBay, why am I sending you a payment request on PayPal? Let me make sure it's still recording. I'm being serious. Okay. I should have did a... Um, a uh, thumbnail but whatever so I sent him the pictures of the phone he's like I got the pictures you sent and I was like did you not see the pictures on eBay and th at this point I'm I'm obviously the from the beginning I'm skeptical I'm thinking this is a scammer he's doing the same things as the other guy like this is not real um, so I'm being like aggressive with it I'm like did you not see the pictures on eBay and he's like I saw them but I need to be sure you have the item for real sorry but I sent him all the same exact pictures that are on eBay I don't know how me sending the same pictures on eBay are, is gonna let you know that I actually have the item, but whatever. So he's like, I await the payment request via PayPal. Um, he's like, okay, please send payment requests to the email address I provided earlier. I did that, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh my God. So I sent him to that on, on PayPal. So then I was like, at 11.50 MST, I'll be removing the PayPal request, so please pay soon. He's like, I am on it. And he said, why would you do that? And I said, oh, only because there's so many scammers on eBay and I just want to be safe. I always freeze all of my accounts just in case um, illegal activity happens. And then he didn't respond for a while, so I was like, hello? And then he's like, I submitted the payment. I'm sure PayPal must have mailed you or emailed you about it as well. Um, I sent you my nephew's address because I verified it with them. I advise you to, to go through your PayPal email address inbox, junk and spam folders. 
So first of all, this guy knows way too much. Like maybe he's like done it before, but he's he's like acting like he already knows it's gonna be a spam thing. Like if you're buying something, like you don't necessarily automatically know. Whatever. So I'm like, okay, do I just click the link in the email? Because I know that it's obviously, I'm, you never click links in email. So I'm like, do I just click the link in email? He was like, I advise you read through it. And I was like, okay, what was the address you want to send me to send it to? Um, and then he was like, what? I'm not joking. This man was insane. So he was like, check if they sent you the that as well. I verified the email address with PayPal, which I don't know what that means. And I'm sure they approved it. He's saying PayPal approved the purchase. I'm like, what is going on? What do you mean they approved the purchase? And then he randomly says, I am a military officer and currently working with my team. Things are dang terrible here. So I send three question marks because I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, what's the problem? I said, it was just random that you said you're a military officer. And he said, oh, I'm just letting you know, sorry. And he said, let me know if they sent you my nephew's address. I'm like, who is they and why would they send me your address? I'm so confused. So he was like, payment was sent through to DGaskin00 through PayPal. Log into your Gmail, then check the inbox, junk, and spam fol folders. He says it again. So I'm like, okay. Um, he was like, I got a payment receipt, which I found in my junk folder. Check your junk, spam, and inbox. And I said, hmm, I'm not seeing an email. Could you send a picture of your payment receipt? He said, okay, in some minutes. Please carefully, exclamation point. It just says, please carefully. I think he meant to say, please read carefully. I was like, you can just send the payment receipt and I'll send it out. And he said, okay, a few minutes. This man sends me an email saying that he sent, sent me $942 to my PayPal. And it's obviously fake. Like, I'm looking at my PayPal, I'm like, what? you didn't send me that like that's not it's not on my account at all and he's like sending me a whole bunch of screenshots oh my god so this is what i did so i sent him a long message after this after this i know that it's a, a scam i said i said like i wanted it to look like it was automated i said thank you for your cooperation this number has officially been traced and marked as a phishing scam all addresses and numbers used between 12 a.m pst of january 13th 2022 and 12 27 a.m pst of january 15th 2022 have been reported to local and national authorities all participating members will be held accountable by u.s law u.s law n23433 i made all this up of the Scam and Counterfeits Association. Please refrain and cease all further illegal activity to avoid further avoid further charges. Goodbye. And this man never responded. Um, first of all, he probably was going, what was that? Because um, he's definitely never gotten that before. I literally said US Law N32990, whatever it was. That's very funny. Um, So I told my dad all this, and he was just like, give me the phone. And I was like, fine. Um, it, uh, this is just very, very embarrassing for me that lit I'm never going through, through eBay again. And I blame them. This must be frigid and cold. Um, I blame eBay. Because why don't you have a customer service number? Why aren't you, like, making it clear to people who are selling on there, like, hey, just so you know, your funds aren't in the account yet. Like, their phishing scams, blah, 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 blah. They told me none of that. Um, and if I was anybody else, I could have easily clicked one of those links in the, the thing or shipped out the phone and then whatever. Like, people have to be getting scammed all the time through eBay. The fact that this happened like th this happened three times for, in the course of three days, literally... The place I called to figure out information, scam. The first person who tried to buy my thing, my phone, scam. The second person who tried to buy my phone, scam. Literally, like, they need to be way more like, hey, there's a lot of scammers out here trying to buy your stuff, but they're not really buying it. They just want you to ship it overnight. Like, and obviously, it's a cookie cutter thing if they try to, if they attack me twice. I don't know if it was the same scam people or not, or if that's just something that they do. But literally, they were both like, this for somebody for a gift. I'm paying you extra to ship it overnight. Do it quickly. Because what they want you to do is they want you to ship the item to them, right? And they don't pay you any money at all. And then 
they wanted to get there super fast so that by the time you figure out that they um that they uh are a scam you can't cancel the order the shipping like it's too late so they want you to do it overnight so it's super fast so don't get scammed by ebay mm. I never click links in an email, ever. Literally ever, don't ever do that. Um, I'm humiliated. I'm embarrassed. I can never go on eBay again. Sorry, can't do it. Mm. I don't know. I just can't believe I got scammed. Even though it didn't even like, I'm glad I didn't actually go through with it. I've seen way too many videos on YouTube of people getting scammed through like calls, right? So that's why I knew right away that lady was lying. She said, yeah, can you do one quick thing for me? They always ask you, you need to look for the signs, guys. I'm letting you know. If you're on a phone, they'll always ask you, um, put it on speakerphone and download this app for me. No, ma'am. The bank doesn't even do that. The bank does not say, unless it's their actual, like, app. And if she was talking some typing in security, something security, I'm like, what? Download what app? The bank doesn't even ask you to download an app when you're doing, um, we can call them to make it she was like just to make it extra secure like download the security app and i'm like no and why not say oh that's just how we do it when i say oh i, I don't feel comfortable doing that this woman hangs up that's how i know it's a scam um anyways watch out i hope this video wasn't too long and i hope i shared that good enough um, I probably didn't. I look crazy too. I don't know to say anymore. But, <laughs> anyways, thank you for watching this video. And um, if we made it to the end, hmm, hmm, say this, Sunny. That's D A S A N I. Anyways, um. I'll see you guys next video. I hope you got to the end. And um, we have more to come, more topics to talk about. I can't believe I almost got scammed. I said that literally three times at the end of this video. But whatever. Peace out. Oh, my God, my thumbnail.